places. Somebody's coming back to you, but they're coming back to you broke, empty-handed, okay? They have nothing. They they don't have anything. Uh, high honor is there. They're not going to tell you this. Okay, this, this karmic is following this divine masculine, this emperor. This karmic wants to see if this emperor meets up with you. Because when this emperor meets up with you somewhere, that's when the karmic is going to act. And the karmic is going to be there either by themselves. For a lot of you, they're going to have two to three people. And they're going to try to jump you and the emperor. Okay? They're going to try to jump y'all. This individual spent a couple of nights at jail, I'm seeing here. Or they could be currently in jail. Hello, Pisces. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayat here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, goddesses, ready for Pisces. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. What do we have here? What do we have? Oh, we have Saturn upside down. Saturn retrograde. Yes. That's the devil in reverse. That's also Capricorn energy. Then you have Aries. Mars energy, the Tower, the Fool, the Emperor. And then we have number five, but upside down. So that's Venus in retrograde as well. So there's like, a, I'm just going to come out and say it. There's somebody here that wants something with you, but you don't want. You don't want it with them. Like, you don't want to pursue a relationship with them. Um, like, Saturn in retrograde, that can talk about lessons that we still haven't learned. So for a lot of you, you could be seeing, it, and, and this could have been like your twin flame or a soulmate, and you could have been looking at this person like you saw the potential there, but it's like you're seeing that they haven't changed or they're not doing the work or they're really struggling. Because it's an energy here of like, Venus and retrograde. Venus is the planet of the Empress. You have the Emperor and the Empress in the dice. The Emperor is ruled by Mars. The Empress is ruled by Venus. Doesn't matter the gender. Doesn't matter your orientation. But what I'm getting here, Venus is in retrograde. Number five is upside down. So it's an energy of you guys. Uh, because I feel like most of you are representing that divine feminine energy. It's an energy here of you guys not wanting anything to do with this divine counterpart because they're struggling to change or they're, they're still being sneaky. Let's get into it. Let, let, let's see what does Spirit have to say. Yeah, courtship is here. Courtship. Jedication. What else do we have, Spirit? Journey. Great fortune. Yeah. Expectation. Yeah, you see. Wow. Imprisonment and high honor. So this individual spent a couple of nights at jail, I'm seeing here, or they could be currently in jail. Okay. Now, for some of you, the court right now is issuing a warrant out for their arrest. Or the police are. Somebody here could be issuing a warrant. For them to be arrested, to, for there to be a search and a, and a, an arrest. Um, also, for others, is that this person is in spiritual jail for what they did to you. Journey and great fortune. You're moving. You're moving into like this timeline where you're going to have great fortune given to you. Okay, this is divine inheritance. This is going to be given to you. For all of the work that you have gone through, especially when it comes to the situation, I'm hearing spiritually ripped off. So some of you could feel like you're spiritually ripped off because of the situation. And it's like spirit wants to sort of, they basically want to pay you for all the hardship you endured in this. 
Let's talk about this change, excuse me, journey and great fortune. Here, let's do it like this. High honor. What was the high honor? Poverty. I swear, it's like, it's like the same message in these reads. Pisces, somebody's coming back to you, but they're coming back to you broke, empty-handed, okay? They have nothing. They They don't have anything. Uh, high honor is there. They're not going to tell you this. They're, they're not going to say anything. They don't want you to know. Okay? They don't want you to know. They feel like you have the bag, that you have success. And so they want to come towards you to join in on your success. Okay? To join in on your financial blessings. They see you as their financial blessing. Okay? Great fortune. Good luck charm. Queen of Wands. Okay. What about this Queen of Wands? The Chariot. So, and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah. You gotta be careful. There's a third party. There's a Karmic here. There could be several third parties, but they're washing. They're stalking. Okay. They're driving around. For some of you, they're driving around your neighborhood. Okay. I'm hearing license plate. So they could be trying to register your license plate in their memory. To like drive around certain neighborhoods and see if your car is parked there. If you do have a garage, do park your car in the garage, okay? Because this karmic is out. This karmic is out for blood, is what I'm getting here. Age of Cups. Queen of Cups, the Emperor. This, it's like... And then the page of wands it's like an energy here this individual is talking with their friends on how to get you back how to win you back okay whether this is a man or a woman whoever they are he she they them it they're trying to discuss with their friends here on how to win you back so you're like the talk in their social group and they're telling this emperor they're they're telling this emperor just talk to the empress just talk to them and tell them what's going on J just tell them because for a lot of you this emperor doesn't want you to know that they're broke this emperor doesn't want to tell you that they have no money that they are struggling they're if they're not broke in the sense of like not having anything they're up to their eyeballs in debt knight of pentacles page of swords they're stuck on you they're stuck on you. Yeah, four of wands. This is a strong twin flame, but you see the three of wands, the third party's washing. Can I see this third party? This third party, the intentions of this third party towards my collective? My Pisces collective? What are the intentions of this third party? The high priestess? I can tell you right now, it's not good. It's not good. The high priestess... Two of Cups. Yes, this third party is trying to spy in and see if you and this Emperor are together. This this third party... This third party is stalking this person, following them. Okay, this, this Karmic is following this Divine Masculine, this Emperor. This Karmic wants to see if this Emperor meets up with you. Because when this Emperor meets up with you somewhere, that's when the Karmic is going to act. And the Karmic is going to be there either by themselves, for a lot of you, they're going to have two to three people. And they're going to try to jump you and the Emperor, okay? They're going to try to jump y'all. Right now, for most of you, the, the Karmic wants to jump you, so get you by yourself. They could even be reaching out to you, <clears throat> especially in the month of February. You see the throat chakra attack. This is a witch, okay? This is a witch. So do not meet up with this person because they have every intention of harming you, Pisces. They have every intention. And this Divine Masculine needs to wash out as well because it's like this Karmic wants vengeance. Whether this is a man or a woman, they're a wish and they're doing like some magic here. Yep, three of pentacles and the three of swords. They're going to have two other people. So it's going to be three 
three or four, you know, the third party and three other people or the third party and two other people that are going to come in and, and basically try to basically assault y'all, assault you and your DM. They want to leave you on the side of the road. Y'all, th this is serious, okay? Have you noticed the energy? Okay, these energy vampires, they're thirsty. The collective is waking up to the abuse and they're pulling back their energy. So these energy vampires are all turning on each other. But then they want to get revenge. They want to get revenge. Okay, karmics have karmic contracts. You know, they, they could have been your murderer or your rapist in the past life. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like this obsession. They're, they're demented. And, I, you know, sometimes karmics do graduate and they change and they see the light. They stop hanging out in the darkness. But this is an energy this karmic doesn't want to change. Not right now, not anytime soon. This karmic is fine in to see if you and this divine masculine are meeting up. And this karmic, he, she, they, them, it, they are stalking the both of you. They are stalking the both of you. Now, if you live in another country, another state, then you should be good, right? Unless this divine masculine has been over to your place. And then the karmic found out. The karmic found out through, you know, the Snapchat, uh, you know, the Snapchat where it shows you the location. Or they found out through the track my iPhone, okay? Then there could be a problem. Page of Wands, Four of Wands, yeah. Th this Divine Masculine, they are going to reach out to you. They want this union with you. They want this union with you, but you see the Three of Swords. This third party is watching. Yep, the Five of Wands is going to come out again. This is the second time the Five of Wands is coming out. I'm telling you, this third party and their friends... It's like, or they could even be, I'm hearing hit, uh, hit to hire. So they could have even hired people. Like this third party could literally be out in the streets. And he, she, they, them could have hired some people like this. This is the target. This is who we, we got to get. You guys really need to be careful. Like this is serious. Y'all need to be careful. You need to pay attention to who's driving behind you as well. Also, have a ring, have a ring doorbell security. Also, if you can get a, a camera as well for your front and backyard. I don't like the energy. I don't. The Hierophant is here. Yeah, th this is your DM. Look how she's writing in that book. That's your DM, basically. Yeah, Six of Cups, the past. This is all about the past. It's all about the past. This is not new love. This DM is basically writing, like, all of this stuff. It's like this DM, they want to reveal to you everything. They just want to tell you the truth. They feel like you already know everything. But they just want to give you the clarity and the closure that you deserve. Because they love you. They know they messed up. They know that you probably won't give them another chance. But they want to give you closure because they feel that you are owed that. And rightfully so. It's going to be a tower moment. Nine of Pentacles. You see, you're guarded. You're guarded when this happens. You're not going to jump into anything right away with this individual. You're, you're still... Yeah, I'm hearing con artist, shapeshifter. It's like, I also heard three years. Like, for some of you, this was dragged on for three years. For others, nine years. And it's like, or it could have been three to nine years in between there. So you, you're you really cautious when it comes to what this person is telling you. Look, Queen of Cups is there. I feel like you'll always love this person unconditionally, but... You're moving on to bigger and better. Yeah, the hangman. It's a strong energy here of Marsh. Yeah, Ace of Cups. The the karmic knows that the DM loves you. The karmic knows. They know. So somebody here threatened to call the cops. 
It could have been the DM friend to call the cops on the karmic, and the cops are looking for this karmic. This reminds me of that, uh, what was the read? It was Cancer. It was Cancer. The, if this resonates, watch the Cancer read, because I'm getting a similar message here. Ten of Wands, yeah. You see, this karmic is working overtime to stop this union. Like, this is a karmic for real. This is a karmic for real. They are they are working overtime. They do not want this union to happen. Okay, they're doing everything they can to stop this. Yeah, the moon is there. They're doing witchcraft. They're doing black magic. I'm hearing I'm hearing period period spell period spell work. So if this is a woman, she's doing a uh, spell work like like she's basically doing spell work when it's the time of her month on you. And also notice the full moon. So she's doing full moon spell work she could be saving her you know her her stuff in jars oh god this is like there's some devil worshiping like for some of you the karmic is worshiping the devil and doing like a blood you know like a blood ritual a blood full moon ritual look the two of pentacles so the dm still hasn't changed yeah nine of swords they still can't decide what they want to do this is a warning read from Spirit. It's a warning. Do you want to play with this darkness? Or are you ready to join the light? And I feel like the majority of you are ready to join the light. You already have moved on into the light. Honestly, I feel like the majority of you, you already moved on into the light. But some of you are holding out hope. And honestly, maybe in the summer, this Divine Masculine will change. But right now, they still are caught up in some mess. And and honestly, this isn't even drama that you guys need. Like, you guys do not need this drama. This is ridiculous. Like, it's it's just weird. But that is your read. Uh, you know, unfortunately, that is your read. That is what I have for you. I do hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.